how to use the Pi tool in Affinity Designer. An example of the pie slice is on the screen. Go to the Tools panel, go to the Shapes, it's about halfway down. Select the tool and then drag on the document to draw it. Hold down the Shift key to make a circular pie. You can also use the bounding box to resize the pie as well as rotate it. Rotate via the white dot at the top of the pie. You can change the angle of the pie slice via those pink dots. You can see the pink dots where the gap is in the pie. Click on one of those dots and reduce or increase the size of the pie. It is a live and interactive feature. You can go back to it at any point. You can change the end or start angle. You can also hold the shift key down to constrain the angle. As you change the angle, you will notice that certain indicators appear, showing 90 degrees, 180 degrees, etc. Hold down the shift key and you will notice the angle is constrained to 90 degrees. You can fill the pie slice with any colours. Just go to the swatches panel and then click on a swatch. If you fill the pie with a gradient, you can manipulate that with the fill tool in the tools panel. As well as adding a fill to the pie, you can add a stroke. The stroke can be added via the top left of the application. There's fill and stroke. Click the button that's indicated as none. In that panel, click the second tab, the line. Change the stroke width. Go to the third tab, the dashes. You can change the dash settings, caps, etc. I'm going to set it to no stroke. There is another interactive setting, the whole radius, a pink dot in the center. Drag that in and out to control the whole radius. You can make a thin as well as a thick hole design. You can also modify all of the interactive settings via the top bar, hole radius and start angle, etc. I must admit, I find it easier to manipulate the pie via the sliders. You can also invert the pie slice by clicking the Invert Angles button. You can also turn the pie into a donut or ring via the Close Pie button. You can also convert the pie into a normal path by going to the Convert to Curves button. You can then manipulate the nodes via the Node tool. Use that to create all kinds of unique designs. I'm going to duplicate the design, but before I do that, I'm going to increase the whole radius to make a thin fragment of a ring. To duplicate, hold down the Alt or Option key or the Command and Control key and drag. Repeat that a number of times to create multiple copies of that thin slice, roughly thinly evenly spaced. Go to the Layers panel and select all of the pie slices. They're marked as Donut. Surely that should be Pie instead of Donut. If you go to an individual pie and modify it using the interactive controls, only that pie is modified. To change all of the selected pie slices, go to the sliders at the top of the application. As you change the whole radius, all of the whole radiuses are changed. As you change the start angle, all the start angles are changed. So you can quickly change all of the designs, all to the same setting. The invert and close also work with all of the designs. I'm going to go back to a single slice. Delete all of the duplicated pie slices. If you create a great design, you want to save it. You want to use it again and again. You can save your shape to the presets panel. All the shapes have presets. Basically a subtool panel where you can click and select a new shape based on the current tool such as pie. You can find the presets along the top line between the stroke setting and the whole radius. Click on the button to display the panel. Eight presets are included by default. To save your design, go to the right side of the panel and click the menu button. Select Create Preset. Give it a name if you wish. Click Create. With the panel displayed, you can now click on any of those presets to change the current selected shape. The shape will change. The stroke, the fill, etc. will not change. You can also save the shape via the File menu or save it to the Symbols panel or saving it to the Assets panel. As a layer, you can add layer effects. Go to the Layers panel, bottom of the Layers panel and click FX. You can then add a shadow to your pie, change the various settings for the shadow. You can also add bevels. You can also add 3D effects. Gradient overlays and color overlays. Once you're happy with your layer effects, you can always just click 
close. The design is still interactive, so you can go to the sliders as well as use the controls. The layer effects are updated as you change the sliders or control points. Again, the design can be saved to an external file as well as using it as an asset or symbol. It will remain interactive until you click the Convert to Curves button at the top of the screen. I hope you found this tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new tutorials about Affinity Designer, as well as Affinity Photo, as well as other applications. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. There's thousands and thousands of videos all about those applications. Please add a comment or two, as well as a dislike or like. Thank you very much.